Hello folks. Uh, I normally don't like making videos like this, but this is kind of a rebuttal video. Somebody came out there and said that they did some upgrades, or some upgrades were done to a 3CPX 1500 A7 that I made, and actually nothing was really done to it. I have pictures to prove it, um, but this is how they normally come out. Sometimes I use the different rectifiers, but I'm using these because I got a really good price for those. The capacitor board is the same. Everything's the same. One-amp transformer. Um, it really isn't any difference. Maybe I might have used a smaller transformer in that one or a larger one. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but I do have picks. There's no difference. I'll flip it, and you can see the bottom of it. Give me a second, because this thing weighs a freaking ton. If you look, there's virtually no difference, folks. It really isn't. Um, they also said the CPX, I believe, only, I mean, yeah, the CPX only holds something like 4,000. That's too much volts for it, or 4,500. Actually, the 3 CPX 1500 can handle, on the C class, 7.5 kV, 15,000 peak. That is not my information. That's CPX right from their website. I'll go down. You can see it right there. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, he only said what he was told, so I don't believe uh, he made this up himself. Somebody told him that, but um, I just want to let you know that that was misinformation. And that's about it. I'm not trying to start no crap. Uh, I don't like making videos like that, but it's been brought up to my attention just quite a few times already, and I just want to clear it up. Look at this and look at the other one. You see there's not much of a difference. There was no upgrades done to that other amplifier, the CPX, at all. It came out of my shop like that. And that's about it. 73th. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.